Finland, the land of 188,000 lakes, advanced bear repellent techniques, Merkeles! warm and cozy sleeping conditions, civilized sports, oh my God, bro. stable politics, informative instructional videos, a terrifying military, Harsh prison sentences. There are no cell blocks here, just dormitories. Inmates come and go in their own cars. Multi-purpose inventions. Varied and diverse scenery. Lucrative hustle opportunities. And 10 euro beers, which aren't even full pints. You also can't buy alcohol in a shop after 9 p.m. You can't go to pubs or clubs if you're under the age of 20. And you can't get any spirits if you're under 22. Extremely strict alcohol laws here. Makes you wonder how Finns manage to be some of the most lathered, obliterated, drunk people in the world. Yeah, all Scandinavian countries kind of see Finns as their insane redneck alcoholic neighbors. A perfect example of this is the show Dudeson. A group of Finnish stuntmen who created one of my favourite childhood shows. Probably most of which I can't even show on this platform. But I'd highly recommend it if you're trying to get a grasp on Finnish culture. The names of these guys were Jukka, Jarno, Jarpi and Hannu. Which is pretty funny because that's a relatively accurate representation of how the Finnish language sounds. Finnish is one of the Uralic languages, making it similar to Estonian and random Randomly Hungarian, which you'll be glad to know is an extremely easy language to learn. Hungarian is how people would speak if they spoke in computer code. The Finnish language originates from Siberians who crossed the Ural Mountains around 10,000 years ago. Some of them settled on Russia's western coastline, some of them formed a kingdom in Central Europe, and some of them settled on the eastern Baltic coastline. This is one of the factors that really separates Finland from Scandinavia. By the way, if you call a Finn Scandinavian, they will violently bludgeon your head off with an axe, which is pretty ironic since all the signs in Finland are also written in Swedish and it's mandatory to learn Swedish in school. You guys can keep these. I don't really want to claim that nasty shit, man. I went to both Helsinki and Tampere a couple weeks ago, and honestly, they were too clean. Suspiciously clean. I did not see one unironed shirt in Finland. I did not see one decaying building. I did not see one speck of uncleanliness in the whole country. It was a bit too tidy, you know. Made me wonder. All right, listen. Finland is not a real country. There is actually no landmass there at all. And the space between Sweden and Russia is actually open ocean. I would ask you to approach the evidence I put forward here with an open mind. Firstly, Gorbachev made trips to Japan months before the fall of the Soviet Union. They shared a common secret, a common asset that worked in both of their favors, and that asset was Finland. The necessity of Finland is quite simple. Japan can fish in the ocean between Sweden and Russia without worry for repercussions. After all, nobody's going to expect fishing regulations to be broken in a place where there's a so-called landmass. Will they? And in return, Russia gets a percentage of the fish to distribute amongst their population. The fish caught by the Japanese is then transported across Russia that was the real reason of the construction of the Trans-Siberian Railway, by the way. And then shipped from Vladivostok to Japan under the disguise of Nokia products. This is why Japan is the largest importer of Nokia products, despite the fact that very few people own Nokia phones in the country. I'm Finnish. Yes, this audio. Who are they? Why not exist? You are actually West Russian or East Swedish. I'm sorry to tell you this. Helsinki is located in eastern Sweden. It's not like the people flying there would notice. And that's why every f***ing road sign and every bus stop and every train announcement, they always have to say the Swedish Swedish version. That's because it's in Sweden. Why? Well, well, what's the alternative? There are a bunch of dick riders that can't let go of the Swedish language, you know? Whether it's real or fake, honestly, aside from downing hot dogs and steaming in saunas, there's not a whole lot to do in this country. Which leads me on to my final and main tip for anyone visiting Finland. Uh, go to Estonia. Ah, hell no. Where are we at?
Finland. Finland. For Finland. Good for Finland. God bless, man. Kijk je dat? Dat is Estonia, you know. Estonia, Estonia. Estonia. Yo, Leo, do the thing. Yo! Yeah!